It's only March here in Wisconsin, but I say we start this beast. Hey YouTube, so I'm getting ready to start my car here for the first time in about five months, a little over five months since I put the car away in for storage last fall. I want to do a little video of my startup procedure. So you're probably wondering, dude, all you got to do is put the clutch in and hit the switch to turn it on. And there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I've been doing that for years <clears throat> with uh, this car and uh, previous Corvettes. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. Everybody does that for the most part. Uh, I did read a tip on the forum, and most of you guys have probably heard about this and, and do it yourselves, but um, not everybody might not know about it. So I read this tip. It's called the GM flood procedure. Uh, it should probably be called the, the D-flood or anti-flood procedure, um, where you can spin the engine <clears throat> over for a while to bring up the oil pressure a little bit and kind of get things circulated through the engine because obviously all my oil is at the bottom of the pan right now after sitting for five months, gravity and all that good stuff. So you can use this flood procedure that actually spins the engine, brings up some of the oil pressure and, and starts lubing stuff up a little bit here and there. It's not going to get everywhere, of course, um, just spinning the engine, um, but it does help a little bit uh, with valve train noise and stability and all that thing. We all know that Starting these cars, that's the hardest thing you can do on these engines, unless you race them, obviously. But starting is always the hardest. Um, you probably can't see that on my dash, but the oil temperature is sitting at a nice 45 degrees. Uh, this is the first time I've checked it. Today is about that temperature, about 45 degrees outside. Uh, it's still March. It's basically winter still here in Wisconsin, but it's supposed to be almost 50, and I wanted to start installing my coilovers. So need to get this guy fired up and back her out and get her up on ramps and stuff and getting ready for the coilovers. So uh, the procedure is really simple um, to do this. All you got to do is put the clutch in, of course. You have to do that anyways. And then you just put the throttle in, the, the, the gas pedal, all the way to the floor. <clears throat> and it's important to hold it there. Uh, and then you just crank the engine like you normally would. Basically, the, the what happens in the car is it tells the ECU, since the throttle position is at 100%, it tells the ECU uh, not to fire the inject the fuel injectors, and obviously that will just spin the engine, then the starter will spin the engine, and nothing else will happen, it won't fire. So <clears throat> some guys uh, do that for, you know, 5 to 10 seconds, and then they stop, and then they do it for 5 or 10 more seconds. I usually just do it for like 5, 6, 7, 8 seconds or so, just to get the oil pressure up a little bit. Uh, and then stop. You just hit the off switch to, to stop the spinning. Uh, then you can take your foot off the gas and then wait a few seconds and then fire up. So that's what we're going to do here. So let's give it a try. Clutch in. I'm in neutral, of course. So clutch in, gas all the way down, and then we're going to spin it. You can hear it spinning. We'll do this for about a couple more seconds. It actually stopped on its own, so I think there's probably a time limit. Um, probably 8 or 10 seconds or so, something like that. Um, probably can't tell really on the PSI, but it, the, the needle did go up a little bit. And then, I, like I said, I wait. I'm going to hit the off switch here, just get everything off. I wait a couple seconds here, chill out, enjoy the scenery, and then we'll fire this guy up. So weird in Wisconsin, and for the guys that store their cars, they know this. That you think you remember the car and everything, but the first time you start it up in the spring, it's kind of exciting because you don't realize how loud it is. I got a cam in here, so of course you get the little shake going, and it kind of brings back all kinds of good stuff. So, all right, in neutral, let's fire this puppy up. It should fire up right away. My battery's been charging on a float charger all year. I'm pretty much keeping on a float charger all all the time, anyways. So over the winter, it's been fully charged, and she should pop off pretty quick here. So let's give her a try. There she goes. Started up really good. Sounds really good. So that's pretty much it guys. Oil pressure is sitting at about 70 psi. Oil temp obviously is still around 45. And that's it guys. If you got any questions let me know, but it's as simple as that. Thanks for watching.